Hello guys, how you doing? I recently released a song called Flower and this is how I made the song. Enjoy, by the way, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so Flower, uh, we're gonna go a little bit like theoretical. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the song first. This is the one that's gonna drop the 17th of December, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna listen to this and then I'm gonna go through how I made it. Does that sound good? Maybe you guys can either learn something from it or something. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can learn me, uh, teach me something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Honestly, when I make music, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm making something. So this is the song. I hope you guys enjoy it. Concept, that's good. So yeah, that's the song that's getting released the 17th of December. Um, let's go through this song. First thing I did was make the melody. This is just a plain simple piano in the beginning here. Which starts in an E, goes to D, goes to C and then up to E again. So that's the start of it. So I use that as my main melody. And that's kind of like the main melody throughout the entire song. As, as you guys can see, I have a lot of different patterns here. And that's because I ended up using different sounds to like build up to what's going to be the drop and the main melody as a whole. Um, so I, after the piano, at the second, let's see. Yeah, after the intro, I jump in with a synth, which is like this. Follows the same notes as the piano. And then we have these ones. 
It's it's a vocal chop that I pitch up a lot. Then together with the piano, it sounds like this. After that, I put in a second synth, which sounds like this. And that's just to make the song more... a little heavier, actually. This is a sound you don't... that's like getting drowned by the other sounds, but it helps the other sound get a little... Uh, more volume to it in a way. So this is with all these sounds together. And then we have the last one right before the drop. And I had a lead in this time. Let's see. So here's the lead. And I also have like a side chain on the lead as well. And it get uh, will keep stream up, but probably won't reply. Uh, that, yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Do your exam. It's more important. <laughs> so here's the lead. If anyone has any questions while I'm going through this, it's just do a comment. So here's with all of the sounds together. Then we have the drop, where I have the piano, the synth, the leads, and synth number two. Like all the noises is in the drop, basically all the different instruments and such. And I did some changes to the rhythm of it. As you can see here, at the regular piano it was like different chords, right? Now it's not like that. Now the piano is like a uh, top melody in a way. Then I changed up the tempo. And then we have the synth, which is follows the same pattern as the piano. Only that it's out every fourth. And then every eight. And then we have the lead. Yeah, it's pretty close to the different one on that I had in the intro. Just that I've pitched it up to a higher key. Made it seem a little bit faster. Right now, I don't have any effects on it. We'll go through the effects after I'm done with the, what sounds I've used and such. Then we have the second synth, which follows the same pattern as um, the lead. made vocals for the song yet yeah yeah I have I have I have um uh, the vocals is right here see and then we have the nexus 
which is the vocal chop. Which basically follows the same uh, as it did before. Um, and then we have a bass that I put on it. And then we have the last... I, I don't quite remember what this is. Is this one of the... Let's see. I actually don't remember. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's the sub. Okay. This is the sub. So this is with all the sounds together. And then the sixth and fifth is the same as the build up. Like after the drop, it goes over to the build up. And then on the second drop, it's the same as the first one, only that I copy pasted it so it sounds heavier. So we have it in E6 as well as E4. And, and after that, I put on some hit hats and drums and such. We have a clap. Which goes every a no every second every fourth I think it is yeah every fourth and then we have the hit that and then we have the kick I have two kicks on this by the way so this one and then we have a more girthier girthier kick. make it a little heavier so together with the songs like this and then on this one we mixed it up a little bit made it faster To get that EDM feeling because the drums in the first part were, were kind of like hip hop pattern on it. And then jumps over to the hip hop ish. I can rap over this. I fucked your mom. It felt good. And then here comes a different drum build up. Like a different, what is it called? A fill, I think it is. This one. And then it goes over to drop again. Um, and then we have the vocals on it, which I have a lot of effects on. I'm gonna go through them as well. I just feel like you are mine, but I feel like moving on. You act like so as you can see down here, um, let's see if I can change it so you guys can see it a little better. Befaller sig ofta vi ska fylla mor och vars visst, det vill att vi ska ge mer insats. Det hörte det här idag också. Okej, as you guys can see we have a vocal synth, a fruity limiter, a paramedic EQ, a fruity limiter and a fruity reverb. If you don't know what a vocal synth is, it's the sound that makes it's like, it's not exactly auto-tune, but it's uh, something that you use to give different effects to your voice. If I take off all those other ones, you can hear how it sounds. Like you love me, but the act you're playing is dumb. So it's different effects on it. And the limiter, it kind of enhances the volume a bit i just feel like you are me and the paramedic eq is so it's cutting out the the bass like the lowest of the volumes um and then 
a little of the middle noises. And this is just so that we don't get like clicking noises and different um, like um, white noise into the vocal. It sounds like this. You act like you love me. Okay, and then we have another limiter. And this is for the mastering of the song. Then we have the reverb, which is the delay that you hear on the noise. You're a flower in a meadow with weed. Hey. That like split second of extra vocal on the end, that's the reverb. And now to the part that took a long time to fucking is perfect. So we have the synth one volume, which helps the volume of the synth. As you can see, I have the straight line up to the build up. Then I'm turning it up so that the volume rises as the build up is happening. And then it's the same as the peak of the build up throughout the drop. And then it jumps directly right down again. When the drop is over and then that repeats itself and i did that to the bass the synth and the lead as well um the piano is the same throughout the whole track and that's just because that i want to like keep the main melody the same if i changed like the volume of the main melody it would sound really weird so if you're making a song don't do it because it just makes it seem it doesn't have like a um, it doesn't have a solid ground in a way if that makes sense and then the drum volume is the same throughout the whole thing the vocal volume uh, is a little bit different it goes up at the build up and then it drops down again and it happens twice as well and then at the end the piano as well as the vocal pans out usually when i make songs i make them pan in as well with the volume that it starts low and then rises up but uh, that's not something you do in um, edm songs usually um and then we have white noise white noise is a it's like static in a way like and it helps with uh, building up the volume of the different songs. Like as you can see here, I have used it as something that's called a side chain, which helps bring forward a uh, different sounds that's in the drop. So on the build up, it makes the build up seem heavier as well as the kicks it makes the kick seems heavier on like um, in the drop as well. You can actually hear the white noise in the track. It makes a really big difference actually. Hear that? That is the white noise. And then you hear that. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, and that's the white noise that makes that. And then we have the riser slash uplifter and the impact, which is something that I put in here just to build up like the tension to the drop as well as to signalize when uh, the drop is finished or when the build-up is finished and such. So... Wow! White noise! Yes, white noise! So it's the rise to your hearing now. And that thing that sounded like a bass in the beginning that's the impact boom and then we have like the effects on the white noise as well as wave shaper i actually don't remember what the wave shaper is this thing here i don't remember what it does but it does something um and then we have the riser which just rises up Whoop. then we have the impact which i have cut down the volume of uh, and the reason for that is so that it doesn't keep on making a big impact noise throughout the drop. Then we have a grass beat. What the grass beat does, it makes a certain noise. Let's see. It kind of cuts up the noise in half. 
this is like the volume, right? And this is uh, that it's mute. So I think it's on the lead. Let's see. I think it's on the lead. That's what the grass beat does. If I take off the grass beat, you can hear it. it sounds a lot more different. And it's on. So it's just minor details that makes the song a lot better. Um, and then we have a side chain on the bass, which is uh, the same as with the side chains on uh, the white noise. It just makes the bass hit harder. Um, now we have a side chain on the lead as well, which makes the lead hit harder as well. And then we have uh, a lot of like vocal recordings that are old that I don't have in the song, which is why they are turned off. So that's how I made this song. I used to, I've actually used a lot of time on it. Let's see. I've been in this project for 22 hours and 49 minutes, which is a lot more than I usually tend to make to have in like a project. I usually have between two to 10 hours, depending on what kind of song we're making. I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked the video, then give a like to the video. Let me know in the comments, did the video make you smile, did the video make you cry, either way subscribe. There's a link to the song Flower in the description. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Baby, I feel like I'm falling. Do you care about me now?